Mark Shields tackled the question, can the crime monster be tamed? At the 14th annual CIN lecture series at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture. Gil Bailey presents his first combat gospel extravaganza 2018. We okay, chat with celebrity Chef Troy of Chef Troy's table about his upcoming Caribbean brunch, a vegan friendly experience at Pulse Zero Bar and Cocktail Lounge. Reggae singer Nesbeth stopped at Mist in Harlem to promote his debut album, Amen. The key factor in my album is hope. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Welcome. You're watching Come Chat With Me. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. And tonight, we're coming in live from the Schoenberg Center. Yes, and it's the CIN 14 annual lecture series. And tonight, guest speaker is none other than Mr. Mark Shields, who are the Deputy Commissioner of Police in Jamaica. All right, so keep it locked right here. Come chat with me. We're in the building. Boom. The 14th annual CIN lecture has the largest attendance as measured by Schomburg Center in New York. The venue was filled to its maximum seating capacity with standing room only. Bob Gore was the master of ceremonies for the evening. Presenters included Dale Todd from Jampack and title sponsor Dr. Patrice Charles, Paul Proceed, Director of African American Affairs, State of New York, delivered a message on behalf of the Governor of New York, Andrew Coleman. Lloyd Williams, President of the Harlem Chamber of Commerce, also gave a welcoming speech. Uh, Stephen can tell you when we first thought about bringing it to Schomburg, it was not as well received as we thought it might be. And, and Stephen stuck with it, and we took the time to convey to the then leaders of Schomburg the importance of what is the 14th annual uh, CIN Caribbean Lecture Series. Stephen Clark of Golden Cross Bakery introduced Mark Shields. Well, before doing so, I've been asked by Mr. Hill to provide a quick update and our beloved Golden Crust brand. My name again is Stephen Clark. I'm the Director of Marketing and PR for Golden Crust. And I'm here just to give you a brief tidbit on how things are and how we're doing. Before doing so, I'd like to ask the audience for a brief moment of silence for my uncle, the founder of Golden Crust, a prince of the Jamaican soil, an inspiration to many and somehow a friend to all. Dr. Lowell Fitzgerald Hawthorne, a moment of silence, please. Thank you. Our so keynote presenter, former Deputy Commissioner of Police of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Mark Shields, presented on the topic, Jamaica's to Crime Monster, Can I It Be Tamed? That having right in 2005 until now with a murder rate of approximately 1400 a year in my 14 years 20,000 people have been murdered in Jamaica and that's a, a frightening statistic um, and it gives you an indication as to the extent of the monster that we call crime This process confirms the identity of the prisoner, it reveals other names that he may or she may have previously used, and of course it's a cross-reference to the prisoner's biodata against all unidentified fingerprints and DNA samples recovered from crime scenes. And as you can imagine, we have a few of those. But this is the shocker. We don't do that in Jamaica. Even though this simple recording of suspects' biodata is probably, not probably, I should say, it is the most important action after arrest and charge. And if it's not done as a matter of course, you miss a golden opportunity 
to do all of the things that I've just described. And would you believe that um, currently there is no legislation in place to support a suspect being charged and his, cr his fingerprints being taken without the authority of a superintendent or a court order. We're here at the Schomburg Centre to see uh, Mark Shields talk about crime, you know. What's your take on it? Well, you know, I think that we have had this, this nemesis that we have had to face in Jamaica. And um, there are different ways that we have looked at how to fight that. But it is not just a matter of a police force fighting crime. It is for us as um, concerned citizens and people generally figuring a way how to actually live better and to resolve our conflicts without violence. Crime is something that affects like the nation and the world really, so this is really a good event to be focusing on here, especially at the Chamber. Crime in Jamaica are all over the world and this special topic here is really important. Mm -hmm. You know, the crime monster, can it be tamed? What do you think about the whole thing when I say crime in Jamaica and, and what's going on in Jamaica right now? Well, I'll tell you one thing. The system can set up any way it wants, the government can set up any way it wants, yeah. but until the people until the people find it within themselves to find a resolve yes, and so that it has to stop, yeah. then um, that's what the, the, the challenge is going to be. That's the roadblock. The roadblock is at the end of the day will be at the people. But the government has to make sure that they're happy. They have to be able to that they can find jobs so that they don't have to resort to other measures. So um, there's, no, there's no real solution until everybody starts working as a team. We don't talk about the retention of money in the system. So what happens? The money doesn't filter down to the people. And that's the problem. The problem permeates the economy. And what I will say to you, peace, no, prosperity equals peace. Thank you very much. On this serious matter as crime, what is your input on it? Well, you know, it's something that just needs to be addressed, that everybody needs to really need to focus on. You know, although people talk about it all the time, you have to put thoughts and plans into action. Yeah. If there's no action, you know, as they say, nothing tried, nothing done. So let the people understand that the community is yeah. there. You want to know the government is there. Yeah. And when everybody comes together, everything can work out for the better. After one year off the airwaves, the godfather of Caribbean radio, Gil Bailey, presents his first comeback, Gospel Extravaganza. Gil Bailey returned to show promotion with Gospel Extravaganza at Church of Prophecy in Queens, New York. The lineup featured Sister Dell, Von Trey Tuller, Maxine Duncan, Michael Reed, LaFleur Durant, and Sister Danica. I love the vibe and you know, once God is in it, you know, everything will just flow naturally. And I trust me, it was really a blessing. honor to be um, having the mic in my hand and being on stage because that's that's when my hell comes amen I'm always a worshiper I'm always somebody on fire for the Lord so it was just an awesome feeling to be back in the company of Mr. Bailey You performed earlier and trust me, I'm still shivering. Great, great performance. How was the energy for you? Well, I want to say I did not perform. I minister yes. to the soul of people because that's what I really do. I am here to minister to the soul of people and to let them know that God still loves them because the energy that the Lord gives unto me is powerful to reach the souls of mankind so that they can be delivered, that they can be set free from their infirmities because my duty here on earth is to save the souls of men. You say you're performing from, I guess, from in the womb and I love that answer. Before I was born, he knew me. So he knew I was going to be who I am today.
go to see Mr. Bailey back. He said he was in a wheelchair and I am so proud that to see the, what the Lord has done for him, that he could be able to stand and do a little jog for us. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing. The vibe was good. I enjoyed myself. I'm chatting, we were inside of the building of Mr. Bailey's extravaganza, you know, gospel extravaganza. Hello, and what is your name? My name is Yana. Yana, how are you doing, Yana? I'm good, how are you? Well, I'm good, I'm good, Yana, I'm cool, I'm cool. You did you enjoy the gospel show today? Oh, it was great, it was great. You know, I really enjoyed the vibes, it was awesome, yeah. Today was a big gospel show, how did you enjoy? Enjoy it well, man. Love nice, yeah, man, nice. We want to see your daddy Bailey, you know, all the while. Glad to Mr. Bailey's back. He's back again, and I'm getting on fine this time, man. It was good, you know. Yeah. I enjoy it. The energy is not really in me. Yeah. It is Christ, the Christ who is in me, that gives me the energy to minister the way I do and to bless the people of God and so that yokes be broken and feathers will be loose and people will be set free by the blood of Jesus. And that's where I get my energy. <laughs> I'm feeling the energy right now. Like you want me to show it all, hallelujah right now. I'm yeah. telling you a lot. Well, the thing is, I've known Mr. Bailey going on about 19 years now. My very first time I had ministry. He was the one who put me on a stage, on a platform at Wall. Yeah. When nobody there knew me, yeah. Mr. Bailey didn't know yeah, me. Yeah. So, Good big man. props. Big props to Mr. Really? Bailey. God know. Glad for seeing comebacks, you know? Sure, yeah. Me too, me too. Yeah. You're going on a little segment one at a time where a DJ me here, a DJ. My mother said, what? Well, here's the thing, sir. I can speak in spooky, but when it comes to jam, I can't jam same yeah, way. Yeah, and the culture, not you? Yeah, and the culture, that man. God is good. God is good. I have the most loving people in the world that follows me all around. This is my first gospel show. People from Jersey, people from all over attended it and support me. And I'm glad for that. Chef Choi's table is a sustainable way of life. Chef Choi wants to feed you, nourish you, educate you, inspire you, and heal both your mind and body. Growing up, my ambition was never to actually be a chef. But you know, growing up in Jamaica, our thoughts are usually to be a policeman or a soldier or you know, somebody of service to the community and to the country. A chain of events that occur actually spark my um, culinary career, you know, unusual event, so to speak. Um, there was a flu season going on in Jamaica and my mother got sick. Also, my, um, my stepfather, who was living with us at the time, also got sick. So, um, on the Sunday, my mother got sick and I had to prepare our traditional um, Sunday dinner. And that kind of sparked the interest and the excitement of me cooking. Any opportunity I get, I'm cooking. You know, if it's even some mackerel and dumpling or, you know, some mackerel and rice or some chicken baka. You know, when you grow up in a Jamaica in the country, the country lifestyle, if you got a river go run boat, I was always the one who jump to the opportunity of actually cooking and preparing our meal. Cooking grew on me and from that point on I've just been trying to wow people with my cooking and it's actually working now.
Yeah, guys, don't forget the place to be is Pose Zero. And that's Pose Zero, and that's 22401 Linden Boulevard. And that's in Cambria Heights, Queens. And we're bringing Chef Troy style Caribbean brunch. And that's a vegan friendly brunch. At this brunch, guys, you can definitely get your traditional brunch item as well as you guys are gonna get familiarized with some good, delicious vegan dishes. And guys, don't forget to check out Chef Troy's table at chefchoystable.com. Also, check out Chef Troy's table and order your jerk sauce. All right, Chef Troy jerk sauce. You could definitely get that at chefchoystable.com. And don't forget, man, the place to be is Paul Zero. 224.01 Linden Boulevard Music about real life issues, social commentary and topical matters presented in a clean and conscious manner. Nesbet releases his debut album, Amen named after his wife Anne-Marie Elliot Nesbet. Amen, of course, is my debut album. The name Amen is the acronym for my late wife name initial. Her name is Anne Marie Elliot Nesbitt. That's why I call the album Amen. Nesbitt embarks on a promotional tour to promote his debut album Amen. Amen. Blessed love. This is Nesbitt from Kingston, Jamaica, Trenchtown to be exact. Tonight is my album release party at a club called Miss Harlem in Harlem, New York. Okay? So that's the mission that I'm on. You know, I discovered that I have that vibe and that energy. So I was always putting pen to paper to try to make sure I, I, that vibe don't leave me, that energy don't leave me. I was chasing that vibe that I realized that whenever I put pen to paper and came up with whatever song it is, it gives me a good feeling. And that feeling in, in some way, shape or form, you know, it, 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 it was a feeling that I would describe that was enough to take me over to a next day. You know, it was a feeling of hope. My dream, my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream. Tell you my dream is to live my dream. Yeah, the most I 2015 comes my dream. <laughs> and it wasn't my dream alone, it was the world of dreams. So. <laughs> Um, it just started, you know, it, changes, it, it changed my life drastically. So all those little, like, my first popular song has, has changed my life in a little way because I then realized that people started to listen to me. And then my first hit song, it's like, yeah, the people say, okay, Nesbitt, welcome to the arena. You are now an artist. And then now, you know, to, to find my dream, it just took me to a next level. And of course, you know, I am climbing as we speak. I performed on the 2016 stage of the inauguration where the, the Honorable um, Andrew Olness had joined me, Prime Minister Andrew Olness had joined me on stage to sing uh, my dream word for word and that when Czech history has never happened locally nor internationally. Inauguration staging in different country um, booked artists, but artists was to perform by themselves. In this case, I was performing by myself when I was joined with the Prime Minister 
on stage and he was there singing the song line for line. So that in its own shape or form has created something new. I am blessed to be doing music and I give all praises to the Most High. I couldn't have done it by myself and I really and truly have to thank just about everyone that supported Nesbeth on the journey because there are times when I feel like I should just turn back because sometimes it gets rough, sometimes it gets tough but nevertheless there's always that side of me that you know pushes me to, to, to keep pushing forward and as a result of that I am here. I definitely want to be someone that can inspire people, can pull people through the darkest of night, use my word sound to uplift people. I want to motivate people because I know what it means to motivate someone. I know what it is like for someone to motivate me. And so I want to pass that on like a button. Hi, my name is Laura. So I came to see Nesbeth and I really love this East music and I feel it really inspire, inspiring and emotional. Yeah, I feel great and inspired by Nesbeth album release, you know what I mean? My dream was the first one where really I can recall but I will know the dream still wicked still, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anne Marie Elliott Nesbeth, amen. He's awesome. The songs are powerful, great messages. He's got that song that everybody loves. I dream, I dream, I dream. So we were all dancing. The fans, I'm excited about the album itself. And I know for a fact, this is not a guess. It's not a if, nor a but, nor I suppose. I've studied the people. I've realized that the people is in need of hope. And one of the key points, the key factor in my album is hope. This is Gil Bailey, the godfather of radio. Gospel extravaganza comes to Brooklyn on Sunday, November 18. Michael Reed, Sister Dell, Van Chortolo, Donika McFargot, Maxine Duncan, Coswell Daly, Miracle Deliverance Center, 1034 Rockaway Avenue in Brooklyn. For information and directions, call 516-791-5006. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. Two roads before you, you got to pick your choice. One leads to destruction and one to eternal life. Don't be don't veer off to the right. Stay in the straight lane that leads to the light. Simply kills.